Hello, Tony Vera, the Venezuelan. Can I fly with weed at LAX? And the answer to that is yes and no. LAX is the first airport of its kind to let you fly with under an ounce of THC products. And um, if you bring the wrong amount, it's not a good thing. This gentleman here was uh, TSA called the cops. They don't care what amount it is. They still have to call the, uh, the cops. The cops determined it was a legal amount. So he's walking them downstairs to check the bag in the airline. Sometimes they just let you go through. It was happy ending. He had the cop with his bump. Uh, no power. And he did the right thing. He knew he was doing but this gentleman here allegedly had 30 to 40 pounds of THC products and got the perk walk and walk the chain here in the ex. The dispensary will not tell you how much you can bring. You know, in this video, at the end of it, you'll see uh, the LEX uh, rules on THC products. Uh, so don't make this mistake. A lot of folks are doing it right now. They're bringing the legal amount. I'm there nine hours a day, whatever. And uh, a lot of folks are still bringing okay. 30, 40, 50 pounds of the TSC product, uh, products, edibles, and etc. So I hope you guys learn by this video. And at the end, please watch the end and you will get the, uh, the exact amounts of the vapes and all that. This is Tony Blair de Venezuela. Here's the video. You can now bring weed to one of the busiest airports in the country. Los Angeles International Airport changed its policy, allowing travelers 21 or older to stroll onto their flights carrying cannabis. KSBY's Kelsey McFarland checked into how this changes security and what local travelers think. She joins us live in San Luis Obispo with more. Kelsey? Richard, this is policy t is tied to Proposition 64, which legalized pot in California. But bringing weed to the airport won't be that simple. It's still illegal under federal law. And TSA says they plan to treat the drug the same way they always have. LAX has a new policy allowing travelers 21 and up to carry weed in their carry-on or checked bags. I can't take certain cosmetics of a certain size on an airplane. Drugs? I mean, that's, it's, it's insane. If it's a medical concern, everyone brings their prescriptions on, that's fine. When you first told me, I thought, they're not going to be smoking it on the plane, please, because it just has such a particular odor. There are limits. Passengers won't be allowed to toke one up on the flight or in any public place. And any more than 28.5 grams of marijuana or 8 grams of concentrated marijuana is too much. Some local travelers say any amount is too much. I'm allergic to cannabis, so when someone has it on their person, like they just smoked it or they have it in their bag, I react to it. It makes me sick. While L.A. police give it the green light, don't expect to sail through TSA with weed. A spokeswoman for the agency says TSA's response to the discovery of marijuana is the same in every state and at every airport, regardless of whether marijuana has been or is going to be legalized. That means if a TSA officer discovers an item that may violate the law, they'll call law enforcement, who will then decide if it's a crime. Some worry that'll slow the security process down. Having to possibly have a whole other line for those who have um, a substance that isn't um, allowed or legally allowed at other states could get really complicated. The policy also points out the weed in your bag may be illegal wherever you land. Officials at the Santa Maria Airport say they don't have specific regulations on marijuana, but they discourage it. If TSA finds it in your bag, they'll call police, and that will slow down the already stressful security process. Live and local in San Luis Obispo, Kelsey McFarland, KSBY News. All right, Kelsey, officials at the San Luis Obispo Airport have yet to comment.